how Newton might interpret gravity was adequate to permit us to fly from the Earth to the Moon. However, it's sort of got to make you snicker to imagine that you would be able to go the entire way to the Moon and back. It, that is, eventually, utilizes something. I guess everything in our universe appears to be wonderful. There are regulations governing the whole universe. However, certain secrets have stayed strange in spite of many years of examination. For what reason does time travel in one heading? What is the nature of reality? For what reason does gravity exist? For what reason does time slow down when we travel at the speed of light? These are questions that have captivated us for centuries. Consider the possibility that I let you know that gravity is clearly false. It's just a construct of the human brain. This could seem staggering, but that is precisely what the popular physicist Brian Cox recently claimed. Let's dive into the concept of gravity and why time slows down to find out what in the world is the matter with gravity. We really need to go past Newton. The issue lies not so much in what he got right, but in what he neglected to address. Out and out, there's an issue with Newton's theory of gravity, and that is that it simply permits us to predict how things move under its influence. It says nothing about why gravity exists or even how it works. It just permits you to calculate things. Newton knew this, of course. He basically just said that it's down to God. In fact, he said that the most wonderful arrangement of the sun, the planets, and the comets could continue under the territory and guidance of an intelligent being. In other words, he gave us the tools to work out how the objects move around. Yet he said, don't ask me how or why that will be, that's down to God. In the immense universe that encompasses us, there are secrets holding back to be uncovered. Among these secrets are the astounding peculiarities connected with time and gravity, two crucial parts of our existence. Imagine an existence where time acts peculiarly, where it can slow down or speed up, and where the force that keeps us grounded might not be what it appears to be. This is the domain of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, where our understanding of time and gravity takes a weird turn. Albert Einstein, a name known to many, gave us a new viewpoint on the universe with his theories of relativity. His work laid the foundation for how we might understand how time acts under various circumstances, especially when we travel at outrageous speeds. Everything started in the mid-20th century when Einstein proposed two pivotal theories, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity, published in 1905, changed how we understand time and space. In simple terms, it tells us that the laws of physics remain the same for all non-accelerating observers, regardless of their motion. This theory introduces the concept of relativistic effects, including the well-known idea that time can stretch or slow down under certain circumstances. One of the most captivating thought experiments used to explain time dilation is the light clock. Imagine being inside a spaceship moving at an incredible speed, close to the speed of light. Inside the spaceship, there's a light beam bouncing between two mirrors, perpendicular to the direction of movement. To an observer inside the spaceship, the light appears to travel straight up and down. However, to an outside observer who's not moving with the spaceship, things look different. They see the spaceship moving at high speed and notice the light beam has to cover more distance to hit the mirrors. According to the laws of physics, the speed of light is constant for all observers, so the light beam must seem to travel a longer, slanted path. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The time it takes for the light beam to travel its path should be no different for both observers, the one inside the spaceship and the one outside. However, since the path is longer for the outside observer, it seems like it would take more time for the light to complete its journey. This apparent time difference between the two observers is what Einstein called time dilation. Time slows down for the observer moving relative to the stationary observer. So, in this situation, time acts differently depending on your motion. It's not just an idea. Experiments have confirmed these relativistic effects. For instance, particles in particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider can reach speeds near the speed of light. Scientists have to account for the effects of time dilation to make accurate predictions and measurements. The special theory of relativity opens up a world where time is not a constant but can be stretched and compressed depending on your motion. It challenges our everyday intuition and leads us to the realization that the universe works in ways far beyond our usual experience. Einstein's special theory of relativity, presented in 1905, 
reshaped our understanding of the universe's fabric, especially in terms of time and motion. This theory, in its essence, reveals that the laws of physics apply consistently for all non-accelerating observers, regardless of their motion. To understand the special theory of relativity better, we need to break down its core concepts. One of the principal ideas of the special theory of relativity is that the speed of light is the same for everyone, regardless of their motion. Whether you're standing still or moving at high velocity, light always seems to travel at the same constant speed, about 299,792,458 meters per second. This idea conflicts with our usual experience, where speeds typically add up when we're moving. It's as if the universe has an inherent speed limit, and that speed is the speed of light. In special relativity, what we consider simultaneous events may not be simultaneous for everyone. If two events happen at different locations and you're moving relative to those events, what you see as occurring at the same time may not be simultaneous for someone else at a different vantage point. This seemingly peculiar idea challenges our conventional notion of time. The concept of time dilation is perhaps one of the most captivating and tangible implications of the theory. As mentioned earlier, time can slow down or stretch depending on your motion. The faster you move, the slower time seems to pass for you compared to a stationary observer. This effect becomes more pronounced as you approach the speed of light. Imagine two identical twins, one on Earth and the other traveling into space at a significant fraction of the speed of light. When the space-traveling twin returns, they will be younger than their Earth-bound sibling. This phenomenon, often referred to as the twin paradox, is a real consequence of time dilation. The reason for this unusual behavior lies in the invariance of the speed of light. As the space-traveling twin accelerates to high speeds, their clock seems normal to them. However, to an observer on Earth, the space-traveling twin's clock appears to slow down because the twin is moving relative to the Earth. Another outcome of special relativity is length contraction. As an object moves at high speeds, its length in the direction of motion appears shorter to a stationary observer. This effect is minor at everyday speeds but becomes more noticeable as an object approaches the speed of light. One of the most famous equations in physics equals 2 equals mc 2 is a direct result of special relativity. This equation states that energy and mass are interchangeable. It means that mass can be converted into energy and vice versa. This principle is crucial in understanding the behavior of particles at high speeds and the energy produced in processes like nuclear reactions. Special relativity isn't just a theoretical concept. It has real-world applications. For example, GPS systems rely on the precise timing of signals from satellites. However, because these satellites are moving relative to us, time dilation effects come into play. If the effects of special relativity weren't accounted for in GPS calculations, our navigation systems would be significantly less accurate. The special theory of relativity forces us to reconsider our intuitive notions of reality. It shows that the universe operates in ways that defy common experience. Time isn't an absolute concept but is relative, influenced by motion. The constancy of the speed of light and the relationship between energy and mass are central ideas that have been confirmed by numerous experiments. Now, let's delve into the general theory of relativity, another groundbreaking idea put forward by Albert Einstein in 1915. This theory brings us into the realm of gravity, revealing a profound connection between gravity and the very fabric of the universe. At its core, the general theory of relativity challenges the traditional notion of gravity as a force that acts at a distance between masses. Instead, it presents gravity as a result of the curvature of spacetime. This idea is more straightforward than it may sound. To understand general relativity, we need to consider the universe as a four-dimensional entity, combining three dimensions of space with one dimension of time. In this four-dimensional spacetime, massive objects like stars, planets, and even you cause the fabric of space-time to bend around them. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Imagine space-time as a vast, flexible fabric. A massive object like Earth creates a dimple in this fabric. When you place a smaller object like a ball near Earth, it rolls towards the dimple. This is similar to what happens when an object falls under the influence of gravity. It's not a mysterious force. It's simply following the curvature of space-time. 
general relativity provides a robust explanation for the motion of celestial bodies in our solar system. It accurately predicts the orbits of planets, such as the elliptical path followed by Earth around the Sun. The old idea of gravity as an attractive force didn't fully account for these orbital movements, but the concept of curved spacetime does. One of the most striking confirmations of general relativity came during the solar eclipse of 1919, when Sir Arthur Eddington led an expedition to observe the bending of starlight by the sun's gravity. According to the theory, the sun's massive presence would curve the path of light from distant stars, causing them to appear slightly shifted from their usual positions. Eddington's observations matched Einstein's predictions, providing strong evidence for the curvature of spacetime. Another fascinating prediction of general relativity is the existence of black holes. These are regions of spacetime where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes arise naturally from the equations of general relativity when a massive star undergoes gravitational collapse creating a singularity of infinite density surrounded by an event horizon beyond which nothing can return. In recent years, we've gained direct evidence of black holes through observations of gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of spacetime caused by the acceleration of massive objects. When two black holes merge, they produce gravitational waves that travel through the universe. The detection of these waves by observatories like LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, has confirmed the existence of black holes and provided further support for general relativity. One of the more mind-bending aspects of general relativity is the concept of time dilation near massive objects. Just as time slows down when we move at high speeds, it also slows down in strong gravitational fields. This means that time passes more slowly for an observer near a massive object compared to someone farther away. This effect, known as gravitational time dilation, has been observed and measured. For example, precise atomic clocks set at different elevations show that time runs slightly faster at higher altitudes where the gravitational force is weaker. The implications of general relativity are not limited to extreme cosmic phenomena. They also play a crucial role in understanding the large-scale structure of the universe. The expansion of the universe, first observed by Edwin Hubble, is explained by the general theory of relativity. The theory describes how the fabric of spacetime itself can stretch and expand, carrying galaxies along with it. The general theory of relativity has revolutionized our understanding of gravity and the universe. It reveals that gravity is not a mysterious force acting at a distance, but a result of the curvature of spacetime caused by massive objects. This elegant idea has been confirmed by various observations and experiments, from the bending of starlight to the detection of gravitational waves. The concept of gravitational time dilation further emphasizes the interplay between time and gravity. Einstein's theories have transformed our view of the universe, providing profound insights into the nature of reality. While they may not offer all the answers, they have opened new avenues of exploration and inquiry. Einstein's theories challenge us to reconsider the fundamental nature of space, time, and the universe itself. They suggest that our intuitive understanding of reality might be limited and that the universe operates in ways that defy our everyday experience. Theories like relativity remind us that scientific knowledge is a journey of discovery, where each new finding leads to new questions and deeper understanding. In conclusion, Newton's theory of gravity laid the groundwork for understanding celestial mechanics, but it was Einstein's theories of relativity that transformed our comprehension of gravity as an intrinsic property of spacetime. The special theory of relativity introduced the concepts of time dilation and the constancy of the speed of light, challenging our notions of time and simultaneity. The general theory of relativity further advanced our understanding by describing gravity as the curvature of spacetime caused by mass and energy. This idea not only explained gravitational phenomena like planetary orbits and the bending of light, but also predicted intriguing phenomena such as black holes and gravitational waves, which have since been observed. Einstein's theories continue to inspire and guide scientists in their quest to understand the universe at both the largest and smallest scales. They have reshaped our view of the cosmos, revealing a universe where space and time are intertwined and where gravity is a manifestation of the geometry of spacetime itself. As we continue to explore and test Einstein's theories, we are reminded that the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. 
Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe and understanding our place within it.